Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your man, Just Jay Sama, one of the hosts of the Canon Culture Podcast. Welcome back to another episode. If this is your first episode, make sure to follow all the instructions about following everybody on their social medias, and make sure you also give this podcast five stars if you're listening on Apple iTunes. Um, subscribe to it if you're listening to it on Spotify or any other pl- streaming platform, whatever whatever you're listening to this crap on. Um, anyway, this week we get into some more nerd stuff. We know how you guys love the nerd stuff and then we also get into some pretty serious topics as well for this week um we hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for listening make sure i love wow. the J. 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 <laughs> that's unfortunate <laughs> it's that behind is, the scenes they can't hear me if i whisper that's crazy Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. i'm done <laughs> <laughs> that, that was it that was all i had that was all the energy I had. So, oh my goodness. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello. All right, I'm hello. awake. I'm I back. promise. Hello. I swear, we're back. Yes, okay, Morning. we're just gonna pretend like none of that happened. So, all right, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's get into some conversations today. Anybody do anything fun? Anything coming up? Cause I'm gonna tell y'all some personal stories I got coming up. Woo. It's mm. very interesting. You know, I did do one thing today. Now, this is going to shock a lot of you. I walked outside. What? Yeah, I walked outside. Oh, no. Oh, no. I couldn't believe it. I I took my first step and I walked outside. I looked around. I said, nobody come to kill me. Mm. And then I walked to the corner store. Got me some Doritos and then walked back. Absolutely failed. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to tell you something personal, man. I'm going to tell you something real personal. (laughs) Now that now that we've gotten some of the easier stuff out of the way today, um, this next week I'm going. Uh, so there's this girl I'm talking to, right? And uh, don't worry, this one's not going to get me in trouble this time. I swear. You uh, always say that. And right. we, <laughs> we are going to we're going to drive to Arizona, right, to see her brother and his family, right? Now, mind you, I don't want to go. Because it's 120 degrees outside in Los Angeles. And it's raining. So it don't make no damn sense. So as I'm approaching this weekend, right? This girl I'm talking Mm -hmm. to said, you can drive my car. Now, let me tell you something. Your man, Jay Sama, okay? Drives like Vin Diesel, okay? Like the family two wheels. is depi- yes, yes, ma'am. Turning on two wheels. Yes, ma'am. Like the family is dependent on my driving. Okay, <laughs> the, the family is is weighs in the balance. Okay, and she's got a real nice car. I mean, a really nice car. I'm not gonna say that this is the particular reason why I'm dating this woman. Oh, okay. But it's a bonus. <laughs> it's a bonus. You know. She offered to let me drive it a couple weeks ago. And I said, no, nah, baby, no, 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 no. I ain't gonna drive your car. I'm not gonna drive your car. We're gonna take my car. The little the little busted up hoopty I got, right? And um Stay she's humble. Like, are, are you sure? Cause I'm gonna get fucked up at this party. <laughs> and I said, no, nah, baby, it's all good. Cause if I'm driving your car, I'm gonna get pulled over. She got the black, black tents like she is hiding from committing a murder, bro. Like, Oh, she hiding from drug dealers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. She is the drug dealer. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. man, I got behind the wheel of that thing last time, and I was just like, and just to move my car the next morning, because she was fucked up. Like, when she said she was going to get fucked up, she was not, she was not playing. She was throwing up gang signs out the window. Talking about, oh, my man finna shoot y'all up and all this other stuff. I said, ma'am? Que la ca- ma'am? Excuse me? Ma'am, I do not live this life no more. <laughs> this not me. There's someone no. else in the car? There's a- Where? Wait a minute. <laughs> Who? Hey, What's going on in here? Huh? So, you know, she was all, all tore up. So I had to move the car because, you know, there's no parking on a specific side of the street on that specific day, right? I get in this car, bro, and I hit this motherfucking U-turn, and I them tires skid a little bit. I heard that shit. I said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a little wet. <laughs> there's, there's no way. 
there's no way. And just from that little U-turn on the street, all right, I knew the second this woman lets me behind her car, she is going to regret it. (laughs) She is absolutely going to regret it. I think she's watching the stream, actually. Let me, you know what? I probably should have checked this before I started telling this story. (laughs) But you guys know me. I don't, uh, anyway, anyway, so. I'm not going to get in trouble. (laughs) <laughs> air quotes so all right um you guys want to talk about some nerd shit this week yeah it was good nerd all right kit. yeah don't That's worry i'm also don't worry i'm also excited to talk about some nerd shit this week okay so first um i don't know if you guys saw but there is an article on what website is this uh we got this covered.com that uh kang the conqueror is a port- reportedly going to be played by multiple actors of the same character I can see it. so I um it. you know i'm vibing with it i'm cool with it i mean i i would you know i mean it's it's just me but i would prefer jonathan majors you know he did a great job the first time i mean i think he'll be the main guy he i, makes, I sure hope sense. so yeah i mean we I got want, main loki want, and then we have nine different ones now so mm-hmm. yeah, i want multiple actors different races different everything i want to see women as well that'd be super cool oh now tony wants to include actresses women and shit. Hmm. yeah i hate women right now mm-hmm. i don't hate women right now right oh. <laughs> yeah. let me paint only that just for you right real quick. now only right now oh my god that'd be super cool just different actors and shit like can you imagine all the kings in one under one roof mm. that'd be oh, super god. dope no they're man. just gonna kill each other yeah that's that shit is yeah. wild it's gonna be fire See, I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little nervous about having literal infinite possibilities when it comes to Marvel. Now, now there's nothing that can't like be put on the table. You know what I mean? Especially when they own ninety percent of Marvel's catalog now. You know what I mean? Give or take a few people floating around all over the place. But I can really see this going somewhere, man. My uh, my ultimate wet dream scenario is uh, into the Spider Verse, and we get uh, Tom Tom Holland, Tom 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 Hiddleston, Tom Tom Bradley, Tom Brady. Uh, I want all the Toms. Tom Brady, man. yeah. Yeah, I want all the Toms uh, in one Thomas place. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. Um, Thomas Edison. I want all. Yeah. I want all of them in the same same movie. Absolutely, fighting uh, Tom Hardy and. Uh, Tom Hanks. That's right. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. I want Tom Hanks Tom to be one Hanks. of the Kang. Oh my god, Tom Hanks as one of the Kangs? That would be kind of <laughs> That'd be kind of fire. And he's, he's Forrest Gump. Weird. Forrest Gump, bro. <laughs> Forrest Gump makes Forrest an appearance Gump in the world. That would be that would be pretty fire. Kang Gump would be pretty dope, bro. Kang Gump. <laughs> Kang Gump. Yes, sir. I would be very Kang the Gump. He's running to destroy so, the Gump universe. Is my ancestor. <laughs> yes, sir. So, I'd be I'd be very excited about that. Uh, my also, also my other wet dream is for me not to break my fucking. <gasps> oh no! While while Jay is going through his thing, uh, I would like to see a spider into the Spider Verse, but like a movie theme, uh, but actually get into the whole different Spider Mans, like uh, like in uh the Spider Man show from the nineties, they did it really well. Uh, yeah, we didn't had... they have uh, Ben Riley and? Yeah, they had like Ben Riley. They had uh, what, what is it? Iron? No, not Iron Man. It was like basically Peter Iron Parker, Spider? Iron Spider. Yeah, What's but the like suit? Leg- but... no, it was like an Iron Spider, but it was legitimately like silver. Like it looked super cool. It was basically Peter Parker, but if he was Iron Man, um, mm. twenty uh, Sp- Spider Man twenty seventy seven or whatever it's called twenty ninety nine uh, yes. twenty ninety nine. He, that one was in it as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was. Uh, a bunch of cool, like a bunch of cool Spider Mans were super like in it, and I would love to see them reenact that shit. Although people could tell me, "Oh, that's into the Spider Verse." Yeah, but it wasn't Peter Parker. Like, it was more uh, what Miles Morales's. Miles. Yeah, yeah. So, I would. That's my you know, history. someone who doesn't get a lot of love, but uh, I think is very loved in the comic community as a Spider Man is a uh, Superior Spider. Oh, dude. I would love to I, see I some have, more stuff. I have his comics. He's super dope. That's Tony's he's he's right there, dope. man. Superior his suit is really dope, good bro. too. I oh, think yeah. he's not he's not slept on, but uh, I, he just doesn't get love in the cinematic universe as much. Nah, uh, cause uh, 
it's not a that spider-man killed yeah the spider-man killed and and like did shit that wasn't very spider-man of him which is that why people Spider-Man. probably aren't interested in or people aren't aren't ready to meet him yet is peter a, a spider-man that kills that's like outlandish let alone like even peter Fine. himself never killed but like and he brutally destroyed a kingpin in that one series where he uh kingpin almost killed uh at may so hot at may no not that one no oh. no, no. <sighs> old, old one old very old Ooh, yeah. i was gonna say hot old at may no, no, no. Great hair. <laughs> just just uh, anime. Okay. All right. Just want to make sure, yeah. you know. Can't be having a granny throwing it back on the timeline for Kingpin. You know what I'm saying? Just in case. Mm. Just in case. All right, guys. Let's uh let's jump over to something stupid. Let's let's see. Over the weekend, um some information came out about Activision Blizzard. I wanted to save this for a little bit into the podcast, but it seems like we're gonna have a short one today. Everybody is sleepy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I myself am ready to pass out, bro. I've had a 14-hour day, and uh, your man's is ready to cluck out. All right. But I still have six, not just one, but six Overwatch videos to fucking edit because I'm just that type of jigaboo today. Um, So, (sighs) over the weekend, I read this article. Wait. Where is it? Where is it? Somebody provide me the article. Please. I mean, this was uh, it's in the can of culture, but it's this was Thank you. really big. Yeah. I think just the just the level of these companies that that they're just these allegations that are literally. They're insane. You know what I'm saying? It honestly is the most nutty fucking thing I've ever in- seen in my entire life. And uh, for those listening who who don't know. Uh, there is a pending lawsuit that's going on right now against Activision Blizzard for the sexual harassment, uh, mistreatment, and overall, like, there's, like, nine or ten, no, there's, like, eleven different things on this lawsuit, um, about women being sexually harassed in the workplace, and all sorts of, some of the most vile shit, bro, one of which is a young lady who was uh, in a relationship with one of her supervisors whose nudes were passed around during a holiday Christmas party one year. And then on the following work, it is it is a job. You know what I mean? This was a company trip. And she committed suicide on the company trip. And then Activision Blizzard put out a statement out, out of their PR. They actually did this publicly that said whatever issues this individual was going through had nothing to do with the company. And bro, I don't think I've read something more vile in my entire fucking life. This was some shit that you would expect out of a movie. This just seemed like it was such a such a far-fetched scenario where you would go, no, there's no way anybody said that. There's just no way when verbatim on paper. And I just, the amount of people that it would, no. The amount of hands that I would throw at somebody, bro, if this was my sister, you know what I mean? I I don't know what I would do. I absolutely, I would lose my fucking mind. Just, just straight up, bro. Um, because there's one of two things. We can acknowledge the fact that, rest in peace to this young lady. Um, I did a little bit of research. I wasn't able to find her name, which is probably for the best. Um, you know, just for the grieving family and stuff like that. So I want to say rest in peace to them and condolences to her family. Uh, because that's a very, very shitty situation. And also... I think this company got to go. I think I Activision think one, Blizzard got to go. It's too big to go. Nah, man. Nah, nah. I, Bro, think, I think there are certain things that, that so... this is it. This is absolutely it. Multiple CEOs and have, well, one CEO in particular actually went to Twitter and said that he formally apologized to all of the female staff members that he has worked with that have been harassed, assaulted, or any of this while it was on his watch. 
And not only Mike Morheim. Yes. Not only did he take full responsibility for it while he was on the clock, he was actually part of it. He actually took part in it. Um, There were multiple women who used to work at Activision Blizzard who now came public saying that you were a part of this. So for you to say that you did not know it was happening is complete blasphemy. And I think when you have something like that, I think you either need to do one of two things. The whole company got to go or everybody in the company got to go. The top 50, top 500, just like in Overwatch, top 500 got to go. The top 500 earners in that company got to go, bro. They got to be rearranged. I didn't I didn't know that the CEO that made the statement part of it. That's It's the ex CEO of of uh okay. of uh, Blizzard. Yeah. So um I I just don't think this is going to kill anything. Like enough people are playing their games so they don't have to worry about anything. To be honest, I don't think this is making enough waves. This is a pretty big deal. Like, if you get into an argument at a large company like this, the company wants to be involved. You know what I mean? Like, the company Mm -hmm. wants, like, this paperwork done, people to have, like, been reprimanded, shit like that. For something like this to fucking happen, and for them to just be like, we didn't have anything to do with it. Just sweep it under the rug? Yeah, she just, she was just depressed, so, you know, that's none of our business. Like, what? What? And the amount of torment that you have to go through to consider that to be an option, that you have to take your own life, is 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 fucking bonkers to me, bro. Absolutely bonkers. There's really some sweaty men out there. It really is. Because this I don't I I I don't know what I would do if I saw that happening to a coworker. You know what I mean? Like, that just doesn't feel right to me. It's just something about, hey, dog, why is you, did she tell you you could do that? Like, you just passing her, you just passing her nudes around the office, right? Hey, you foul, bro. You absolutely foul. Like, that's, that's one thing. But, and she, uh, she had worked for the company for over 28 years. So we're talking, like, early wow. Like, she was part of Inception Team. You know what I mean? So... Which I think is a bigger conversation that we we could also have. The fact that she was there for 28 years and she wasn't one of the higher-ups by now. Like, could you imagine putting 28 years of work in the same place and you ain't the boss yet? That's a long time. That's a long time, man. So Yeah, I don't... Absolutely no respect for her. They just... (sighs) Tell us how you really feel. it's It's so irritating because it's like... You have to think, for her to, like, consider, like, taking her own life, how long did she actually go through this kind of torment? Right. Like, how... I want to know... I wish I could know, like, the men that were actually doing this to her, what their position is compared to hers. From when they first started until... Up till now. Right. See, what because mean, if they it's... started lower than her or like they joined at a later time at a lower position than her and they still got up in the ranks before she did it's like what the fuck and it's not like I really hope nobody tries to use the excuse like oh well maybe she just didn't put forth the effort to to get a promotion or a raise or anything. I really hope nobody tries to use that fucking excuse because that's bullshit. I think it, it also comes to a point where uh, a lot of workplaces has a lot of nepotism in it. Mm-hmm. So uh, you basically, it's not like, oh, all the men, all the men are like that. It's like, no, well, all the men, like one, one weed will fuck up everything. Basically that one guy that's a shitty person will only raise people that's uh, like the same as him or are very impressionable like the guys are like oh i don't want to i want to keep my job like a lot of people hide behind that excuse like i don't want to be banned or i don't want to be like labeled as like hard to work with and all this shit they hide they hide behind that which i get it like i really do you work your way so so many years decades and shit to then be being on a spot where if you don't want to do what i do then 
you're not going to be one of us, one of the boys, you know, yeah. that shit. So it gets to a point where do I conform or do I do what's right? And what's right is unfortunately it's not paying bills. I'm not, mm. I'm not advocating. I'm just saying like, that's what like would happen yeah, it's not um, a justification. because right. yeah, it's not a justification because at the end of the day, you should do what's right. Um, because especially for like people who grew up with women all their lives, this is horrible to hear. Like right. I literally grew up with pure women in my life. And every time I've, I've ever heard like some guy like joke around like, Oh yeah. Like, you kind of like like women are just objects to be pursued and shit like that that it really it really pisses me off because uh it's just like bro like how can you talk to your like how can you say that at, like do you not have a mother like sisters aunts have you like, never talked to a woman at all right? ever like bro like i can like my girlfriend's not an object bro like me me and her we talk to each other we have interests we're are basically the same it's just that i have a fucking dick and she has a she has what she has in some so scenarios it's like, she's the one with the dick so, so like when i hear shit like that like this i'm just like bro like if it was up to me activision bungie would have been or activision blizzard would have been fucking done <laughs> like <laughs> this man was ready he said wait a minute hold on i can ready just shoot, shoot, bungie at the I'm ready. shoot everybody <laughs> like, if it was up to me it would it would have been over but unfortunately that's just not how that's gonna work they're gonna sweep this under the rug and they have enough people playing overwatch playing world of warcraft playing all their games that they will be pretty fine it's even a majority this, of... even if this hit national news it wouldn't like they would have to do some like really dark shit and i'm talking like oh yeah like they're they have like a fucking i don't know pedophile ring inside the actual building in themselves like some shit like that okay, even let's, then let's maybe stop not. there for a second i have a question <laughs> I have a question about this what? because if we know we know tech entertainment gaming like these are spaces that are predominantly male of course mm -hmm. they're gonna have stuff called uh there was one one thing that they talked about in the uh article called a cubicle crawl where they would literally That's get weird. bruh this is That's how i know weird. this is that that weird frat boy white boy shit okay all right P uh plank i'm gonna need you to testify on this one for me excuse me um, I'm, not, I'm not that white. <laughs> you said I'm not that white. Just white. Are you white enough? No. No, I'm not that white. <laughs> not, not even no. So, no, sorry. in in this detailed explanation, in this uh, like detailed uh, article, they were saying how they would get so fucked up at the office and literally play grab ass and grab nuts with each other. What? Do you know how sus you gotta be? To be in an office that's 90% male and decide, hey, guys, let's get so drunk that we grab each other's dicks and just run around the office yelling teehee at the top of our lungs, you know, wearing Christmas bells, okay? This is just something different. I don't know what these motherfuckers was on, but the amount of sh crack they must be smoking, <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well, it's, boy. It's super weird because, like... <sighs> So like I've had I've had friends where we would do like shit like that like like close friends let me say let me say a lot of people who I would consider friends like best friends I would do this we with, definitely right? not doing it at work exactly <laughs> like I'm not doing it with work people because they're not my friends they're my coworkers that's weird now there might be a, a different sentiment when it's like oh well, I've known this dude for twenty years of course he's my friend now it's like yeah I get that but it's at work bro like dude. Bro, you got a wife. What are you doing? And you know what that you know what's interesting, Tony? I try to it's, put my mind. I try to put my mind I, in that I scenario. I can't put my mind in it. I, I can't try. Put my mind in it. And you know what keeps coming to mind? Entitlement. Entitlement, Probably. bro. It's a lot of the time well, where I've never been told no for something. I've never really had to like, you know, I've been in a in a position of almost I don't want to say a position of power, but in a position of influence and a position where you know what I nobody's going to challenge me. I'm going to grab the homie dick in the office. <laughs> you know what you know what i think it is j2 a part of it as well it's the whole thing with like with uh bioware like where they were just so arrogant uh you'll see the connection okay uh it's kind of the same thing with like, bioware where, i was like, like wait is there, there something so... you know that i don't know all i saw was the ubisoft comparison that was it <laughs> it's it's the same thing with like bioware was so arrogant when it came to making their game that they didn't want any help because they've been in the game for so long they made mass effect the trilogy even though no they didn't 
it's the same thing with uh blizzard and like pretty much every company that has at least like a 10 year uh game or like more than a decade in this in the in the gaming industry it gets to a point where like they get puff chest and be like yeah like we're the shit like we've been here for a decade or two decades exactly yeah like at at that point like what who's gonna fuck with you oh yeah i was I, i was there when wow was being created i literally did this and that like it, it comes to a point where it it transcends confidence and cockiness and just becomes super gross and like, oh, I can do whatever I want. I'm going to go touch this girl's pussy and nothing's going to happen. Like, in you need the to workplace, be, you need to be some type of fucked in the head to reach that level of like, I can get away with everything and anything Brother, because the- I've been in the industry so long. Like. Who's gonna say anything I can just to make, me? I can just make a call and make and delete you. No one's ever gonna work with you. You know how fucking wild that is, bro. I think the worst part is, is that uh, that 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 mentality is reinforced because the CEOs are doing some shit like that too, right? Or like right. the higher ups. And then they're just then, like, yeah, that's cool. Not only that, the people in HR are also grabbing coochie. Five hundred one. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm Cheryl. Cheryl. Remember, remember, people. HR is not your friend. Not HR all. is not your friend. Mm-mm. Human resources mm. do not get, first of all. Human resources for the company, yeah. not for you, sir. The humans are the resource. That's that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, they, you're, they're not there the to help way. you. They're there to help the company, okay? And no, that like, is at it. that point, at that point, like, I think the only way to really stop this shit would just to have the feds come in. Death like, match. Oh. Under, undercover and just... uh. Like that. experience yeah. all that shit and then just have a case against them and just take them down like that that's See, the best way that sounds like a reasonable thing to do but i think that's considering, the best way. i think considering the actions okay considering the caliber of the actions put these motherfuckers under the jail bro absolutely these these are the type of predatory people that create other predatory people hurt people hurt people because mm-hmm. if if somebody were to go through a space like this, God forbid, and I was reading some of the statistics, only 24% at that time, the time that the, this article was written, I'm sorry, not that the lawsuit was filed, it was based in 2014-2015, only 24% of the overall 10,000 like staff members at Blizzard Activision were women. <clears throat> Even less, like less than half of those 24% were anything other than white. So you can imagine in that itty bitty circle pool of people, how fucked up all of these other people are to them. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. because you clearly are, you're not in, in a space where it's, it's clearly, you know, it's not comfortable. And mm. so... I think when you have situations like that, man, you just got to like rearrange the whole board because there's no, there's no like one person that you can fire. It is now a company culture. Like at 502, yeah, we grab the secretary's titty on the way out for good luck. You know what I mean? And it's just like, who's she going to tell? HR? <laughs> We're HR. I think, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think a good way to do it, like to really um, detox the company would be to have each each uh each person in the company talk to like a psychiatrist and then have the psychiatrist just weed out like yeah this is the problem dude no this dude's fine this is the problem dude because uh i don't i don't believe in like bleaching the whole company even though like some but you kind of have to because the same could be and here i'll tell you why because even in some of the statements that that blizzard's pr put out is that there was one word that kept sticking out, and Selena was there with me when I was reading the article. It's diversity and training. So there's whoa. there's certain things, yeah, woo! There's certain things yeah. that diversity is not going to fix at 24% of your company, number one. And number two, these trainings are gonna do nothing for the people who are the ones making the rules because they're forcing everybody under them to take you know, these, these courses and shit like that. And course, Courses and and all this other stuff does not guarantee change in the workplace. But you know what does? Terraforming. Terraforming will change literally. I know it sounds horrible and it's not practical at all. But when you deal with a situation like this where it it is so embedded, there's not like a certain... Because there's always going to be old guard. 
There's always going to be somebody that slips through, you know, the therapy and the psychiatrists that come in and evaluate everybody. There's going to be somebody that slips through and the cycle starts all over again. Because it only takes one weed. That's it. Next thing your whole shit is fucked up again. But next thing you know, Susan is grabbing dicks on the way out. Which, that's not good either. Susan, you cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to the interns. Okay? We understand that they're here against their will. Not being paid. We get it. But Susan being in a place of power, she's just gonna grab young Jeffrey's pee-pee on the way out of leaving. Because what is Jeffrey gonna do? He's an intern. He's trying to get in here. Okay? He's not even being paid for his 12 hours of work that he's doing today. Okay? And now I'd just like to flip the scenario just in case, so that way people can really see, yeah, it's kind of vile. And it, this this happens all over the place, man. I can only imagine what it's like to be in that specific scenario. Like I can I I can't wrap my mind around it. And how how do you? Another question I have is how do you proceed from that? You know what I mean? Like if that's your coworker, right? And you knew your coworker had all this shit happening to her and then she killed herself how how was that and you continue to work at the same company you know what i mean because you can't up and leave you got bills it's gonna take two weeks for you to find a job and then two more weeks for you to get paid from that job at least mm-hmm. at the minimum you know what i mean god forbid their hr does not put them w-2s in properly oh lord woo wee you be in trouble next thing you know you out of you're behind on rent. Like, well, it's it's the same thing you said. Um, it's hard to change a, a job that like with that much like that specific job. Like, what are they gonna do? Go to another company? Probably they're, it's going through the same thing that they're going through. Right. Yeah. God like, forbid you go from Blizzard to Ubisoft. Exactly. Like, mm. dude, it's 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 the thing is that like the the industry is becoming so like vile with like this type of shit um grind or what is it called uh when they overwork their devs Mm -hmm. um not grind what is it oh yes grinder crunch time my boy crunch they they have crunch like what the fuck it's i know this is gonna sound (laughs) this is gonna sound so dramatic go ahead put it out there Capitalism, bro. Capitalism, yes, sir. It really is. Mm-hmm. Let's overwork our, our, our artists. Let's <laughs> overwork our people so that way they can produce the, the product that people want. I'm not trying to say, like, man, fuck, fuck, fuck Catma. Yeah. I, I, uh, Go ahead. But I, Go ahead. Say it with your whole I think chest, it's to brother. A point where, like, bro, we need to calm this shit down. Like, video games you keep becoming mainstream has really made the industry vile as fuck i you know what i was kind of noticing that because i i really think in a not just that but from a consumer point of view if you know that you're about to buy a video game where you're paying 60 70 dollars if you got one of the future consoles you know if they exist um and that money may or may not trickle down eventually to a person who was part of the dev team on there that worked hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours you know what i mean okay so this is a funny thing is activision ceo ceo garners so much fucking money it's like what is it someone some correct me in the chat but like it's like either millions or billions it's ridiculous amounts of money but but the devs are like are getting paid what they're getting paid. I'm not saying devs should be get getting paid millions, but I don't think one person who's yeah. Look at Jay's face. So you want to? I just pulled up a yeah, report. Yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. Pull it up. It's from the New York Post. It is Activision Blizzard CEO Nav's 155 million dollar pay package for the holiday season. Uh, shareholders approved of a $155 million pay package for Activision Blizzard's Inc.'s CEO Robert Kotick on Monday by a 54% margin after the company took the rare move of delaying its vote on executive compensation by one week. 
<laughs> so, yeah, the investor criticized Activision and Blizzard for extending his employment contract all the way to 2023, <laughs> time period that they say is too short. <laughs> now, for what? me, just this is just me personally. I don't feel like people like millions. Cool. A billion. That should be the cutoff, dog. There's no reason for you to have a billion dollars. What like a billion, you do you know how even... much a billion dollars yeah. is realistically? Like, I don't, I don't feel like people realize how much a billion dollars is. Let, let alone something. like I'm gonna, go on to Amazon. I'm gonna go to Amazon right now, and while you're talking, I'm just gonna add as many things to the cart as possible. Oh yeah, and see, see you, just what ridiculous you probably number won't I won't even up. hit like a quarter of a billion, bro. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No. I'm gonna buy me. Like, let me buy some bikes. This, <laughs> buy some this is like what I've been thinking about in gaming. Just because gaming is so not only lucrative, but every everyone wants to do it because everyone wants a piece of the cake. It's starting to normalize a lot of shit that's not cool, like crunch, uh, the toxic uh, work oh, experience that everyone has. It's because unpaid internships. Yep. Ooh, slavery. Basically. Ah, uh, no, indentured servitude. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, that's yeah, right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Oh, my bad. Sorry. People don't like the S word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, well, yeah, you're contracted. That's why. Yeah, nah, man. That's I, why. Uh... Slavery is slavery, man. You want to tell me about slavery? Hold on, I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I, I, you said I, it was I, in Paris? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway, so... <laughs> But uh, yeah, man. Um, let's. I think we should have a bigger conversation about this. What What do you guys think? Not just. I mean, we've talked about a few solutions and stuff like that. I I prefer you know the scorched earth approach because you know you might have to just start all over, bro. Just start the board all over. Um, what do you think causes these environments to happen? Like uncheck the uh, egos. That too. <clears throat> Selena, what do you think? The inability of ra rational thought. Hmm. Sorry. Diversity as well. Like, true diversity. Not like, oh, yeah, we added a black guy to our team. No, like, I mean, like, we added one of the homies. And not even, like, nepotism type of thing. Like, we added someone who we feel is going to be good for the team. And he's, di and he's, like, another color and not just white. Because I feel like if you have a diverse group of people... You're starting to sound like... People PR, check huh? each other. People check each other. Hmm. Uh, from different walks of life, they'll check like they'll check each other. Like I know, if I'm being too cocky or something, one of my homies will tell me or something like that. Not only that, it gives you perspective as well. Especially in gaming, like I feel like gaming should ha should be diverse, not for the sake of being diverse, but because it adds a lot more. And to be fair, there's a lot of white people in the industry. And homie, I agree. Thread them around. Not just white people. I think we should get more. Like there should be more women in hiring positions, because uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Uh, somebody called me a simp over the weekend because I want women to have more opportunities, bro. Do you know how vile that sounds? You said because somebody has a coochie, <laughs> they should make less money and have less opportunities, bro. Do you know how sleepy you must be? Because holy shit, bro, you need to take a nap. You doing you doing way too much. Not only that, I think having people of different uh, genders, backgrounds, ethnicities, and stuff can tell stories that other people cannot. Oh yeah. So you know, it's just I don't understand it, man. I don't understand it. Maybe because I've never been in a, in a place of power to be able to abuse something like that. So maybe I would feel a little differently. Um, well. It's it's a mindset that gets changed over time, I feel. Like, they probably weren't like that fucking 10, 20 years ago. But what, what's that old adage? Uh, tell me the five people you hang around with and I'll tell you who you are. Mm -hmm. The more you hang around with filthy people, you will become filthy. I don't care who you are. Like, you can be the most holiest person. If I tell you you're going to chill with the devil for two years, you're going to become a devil. Mm. Like, that's just how it is. You said your homie because selling it's human. crack, huh? It's homie. It, oh, motherfucker. It's human. Uh, it's homie. It's human. Human nature. Like we want to be. We want to be like the people we are, so that we can be accepted and all this shit. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think it's just over time. Like 
if you have if you have like a good team mem team member and like they're actually good people you'll become more like that that's why like that's why i i had to cut a lot of people out of my life because i'm like you you literally do nothing for me in my life right and i don't want to i don't want to get that energy some people don't even be entertaining me. bro at least like <laughs> if you're gonna be in the top five like if you're gonna be in my myspace <laughs> top eight bro for real for real for real and you don't do nothing you got to do something homie you're gonna have to juggle you're gonna have to be a clown can you get what can you do you got any hidden talents, abilities? Can you make your thumb, thumb look like it's, you know, separating from your hand? No? You can't do that? It's not that hard? You can't do shit like that? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I Every time I see certain things like this, and it, it just hurts me. Because it don't have to be like this. Like, if somebody told somebody, hey, by the way, if we make a good product, we'll, we'll make lots of money. Okay. Well, if we treat our employees well, they'll work really well. If our employees are paid very and compensated very well, they're going to want to come to work. You know, if work is not a, a stressful environment, they're going to give us the best. Bruh, it's just, it's they dominoes. They have no incentive to do that. Yeah, man, it's dominoes. So like, I That's don't... the thing. They have, they have no incentive. Like, there's no repercussion if they don't do that. Like... True. Especially when the industries, well, industries have proven that, hey, we don't have to. <laughs> they'll buy this shit no anyway yeah. yeah like we we've got to a point where and i i love when people tell me this but uh when people tell me no you need to vote for your wallet it's like that would have been great if there was like 200 people in a village it's not like True, that anymore yeah. bro like there's so many much there's much more people that would be willing to defend and give them their money but at that point like sure five five six people can like be like oh no i voted for my wallet and i'm not gonna play that Meanwhile, 15 other people are like, oh, I don't care. They're buying the Ultimate Edition yep. with the statues, and they're and, buying all and the DLC only, and the cosmetics. Not only that, I mean, like, you'll have five more people who are just like, oh, well, people are just so sensitive, so I'm going to buy two copies. Like, it's, 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 I don't, I don't want to blame it on, like, casuals, but it's kind of like that, because for them, they don't really care about the industry. All they care about is coming home after working, like, 50 hours a week just to play a video game that they don't really care about. Mm. Now, would like, you say you feel that way because you, like, have have been a content creator? Would you say that because you... I've had so many people about... comment. People, I have so many people commented on, nah, you, like, I, I cover Destiny 2. And I've had so many people tell me, like, oh, no, you're just too, thinking too much. The game should be easier because I don't want to come home and grind for 15 hours only to get a gun that's really good i want to get home and like maybe grind an hour to get that gun and i'm like that's cool like i guess but like you're diluting the experience like you're making if it ever, worse if everything was easy to get then there would be no point to play in the game exactly like this game used to be about grinding to get something you really wanted it it was grindy but when you got the weapon you wanted the satisfaction of knowing you finally got it was so super dope. That's why people talk about Destiny 1 and with high praise, even though it's pretty mid. Um I, I think agree. it's I think it's I think it's a point where people just want to play something and they don't really care about the industry because like why they don't have time. They're working 60, 50 hours a week. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like some some days they just want to chill and do whatever they want, turn off their head. Which I get, but it also affects the industry in big ways because now industry in, the industry doesn't really have to care about like the fan anymore because the casual will give them the money they need. I think uh, the the gaming like we've gotten to a point where gaming is so big as a as a space that we can. Instead of making even new IPs, we're just like, you know what? Let's let's make another Call of Duty. That's that shit's gonna hit. Yeah, yeah. this was already working. Why not? Let's just... underpay people and then let's make a shitty product, and we'll just that's just dividends, baby. That's just profit. Well, yeah, it's at the end of the day, it's just profits. Why push the line? Why push the boundary if we can just make enough money with just my be re regurgitating a fucking game we did last year? Using the yeah. same exact assets, and we're just gonna change some some writing a little bit. Get some interns, you know. We don't have to credit them. It's fine. We'll be okay. 
I can't. Exactly. I can't. I can't deal with it. So do you guys think at, at a certain point, gaming is going to get so big to where it's just like, yo, if you if this studio doesn't, like, if this studio puts out a game and it doesn't do well, it shuts the whole studio down? Isn't doesn't already that already like happened? That? Yeah, um, it's happened already. Pretty much. I just need it. I ask because I want it to start affecting the Giants now. I I really think it's... it's, it's didn't they do that with the Dead Space team? They dropped no, Dead the Space, Dead Space the, the Dead Space team uh, got got bought by EA, made second one, which was fire, made ignition, which was fire, made extraction, which was super dope, and then made three, and three did so bad that they just were like, you know what, no more dead space. And then they just eventually just got uh, uh, spread out through different studios, and they just disbanded. Because mm. so. it's not even Vicarious. Vicarious? No. Visceral. Was it? Vicarious is... Visceral. Uh... Uh, oh, yeah. Visceral's not even making the remake. There's a is remake. There yeah, there's a remake. They did See, that at EA, EA Play. I'm not a nerd anymore. <laughs> I, did, nerd. Dude, I made a I made a react video to it. Oh, you did? Yeah. I didn't even. Bro, I didn't even see dude, that. YouTube look at look at Jay. Take YouTube home. didn't give me a notification. Uh, Hold no. on, this is YouTube's fault. Wait a minute. Uh, let me go no, dislike Jay. this video real quick. Don't get exposed like this. Nah, it's okay. Let me go dislike this video real quick. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh my god. That can't be, man. Nah. It it kind of sucks because like. As someone who's been playing video games all their life, it kind of hurts to see gaming just become this, like... This was two I mean, days ago. YouTube you know what's weird? Me of this. Well, I think I'm scared now. I think the, the gaming industry as a whole has scared me. Um, because we, usually when we've gotten to an era where there's remasters, remakes, and I'm scared they're going to ruin my favorite game, like... They they dropped Which Skate one? Four nudes new nude, not nudes <laughs> 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 Skate Four oh! nudes. <laughs> what? Yo, what's on your mind, your brother? Kids? What's going on? It's not on? my favorite, but it's I one of my favorites. We're not yeah. gonna skip over this. Hold on, unpack that. What's going on, man? You thinking about something? What's on your mind? Who's man, sending I just, you ever seen a, a skateboard with no grip tape? Oh, my oh, God. Really getting wet. <laughs> brother said, let me see that full vinyl, girl. Come here. <laughs> let me see that shit unwaxed. Naked skateboard. <laughs> But uh, I'm yeah, I'm scared they're gonna ruin skateboard. Skate Four. This man said, "Bitch, is that a ball?" Skate drink? is a is a franchise is a franchise I grew up with and I loved so much and that my me and my friends really enjoyed, like growing up. So if they ruin it with the Skate Four or not ruin it, but if it's not how I expect, I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be very sad. I'm gonna be disappointed. And they, the industry does that a lot with classic games. I see. I mean, we uh. Look at Metal Gear. We got Metal Sur Metal Gear Survivor, whatever it's called. Yeah, they kicked they kicked they, Kojima out and they then they kicked they, the shit out. Bro. Like at this point, the way I see it is, um, whatever I like, I just I stick to that. And if they make a new game out of it, I'm just kind of like, that's cool. It's not canon in my head. Just like Metal Gear Rising is not canon in my head. I'm you didn't like that game? Me. Nope. I, oh, really? I liked it. The, the gameplay oh. was fun. Story wise, I hated it. Ooh, you didn't fuck with the president. No, Armstrong, whatever his name is. I was yeah. like, I'm fucking done, dog. <laughs> fucking senator from Texas, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I um, thought it was a cool game. Oh, it was fun. She was super dope. I just don't think it's a good Metal Gear. That's why they didn't even put a stat tactical stealth on it because it's, it's unconventional for sure. Oh, but I, I'm for what it is. I, it's, I love oh. it. It's such a good. It's such a good game. But as a Metal Gear, it. It just doesn't fit like at all, and this is coming from someone who's played literally every other game. the The fucking card Metal Gear card game, I fucking love that game. I just <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. So, uh, I have a question, Tony. If they were to let's say Kojima, not Kojima is not, Kojima is not going to come back. But if they decided to make a a Metal Gear like remake or remaster or whatever, like a Metal new, Gear Four. No, no, I just I, just in general. I, I don't like really... what, what, which one would it be? What remake? Uh, All right, I'll give you the. I'll Peace give you... Walker. Oh, remake Peace Walker, really? Listen, well, I only Gear played like two of them. Take. Listen, listen, listen. But Metal listen, Gear Four listen. was a bad take, bitch ass. It bitch was because this is the last game, <laughs> bitch <laughs> ass. Listen, 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 listen. Mm -hmm. If they would, if they were to ever remake uh, Metal Gear, it would be Metal Gear One. 
Metal Gear Solid yeah. 1. Everyone wants it for some reason, even though we already had a remake and it wasn't that good. But still, people want the first one to be remade. I... It's, it's hard, because, like... It makes me nervous, because I... For me, and this is probably why it'll never happen, but if you want to make a remake, it has to be a one-to-one. -one. Like, you have to... It's basically the same thing, but just maybe better obviously better graphics but maybe the system is updated to metal gear 3 and like onwards like metal gear 4 i think metal gear 4 had the best system so like if they were to tell me better graphics obviously but you get metal gear 4 system with um maybe peace walk like at this point i'm just trying cherry picking from other games they're, i know they won't do that i know they're probably just gonna do the safe route which is metal gear 1 better graphics uh updated um mechanics so that way it's not like in the like in uh playstation one era yeah and they'll probably fuck up the story somehow well without kojima they they definitely messed it up i mean like it's so hard to fuck it up when you have a game that you already own see you like, say just that build that and you that. say that yeah, that's you it. say but... that yeah. this industry that's the thing. has it's proven like... over and over again that that is not then okay I, but then i look at like resident evil 2 Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 2 was dope, but well, that's a lot a of Resident that Evil... A different studio worked on 3 and 2. Well, the thing... Well, what I'm saying is, like, even Resident Evil 2, which a lot of people say is, like, the best remake ever, it wasn't a one-to-one. -one. There are still things missing from the OG that the new one didn't have. So would have. you prefer a, a, a remake where it's not one-to-one, -one, or do you just want to remaster where it is one-to-one -one and just beautify the graphics? What would you prefer? It's it's so hard because like on one hand, a remake would be Make it dope less just to see. Spit on it first. What? Well, the thing is like it'd be. Huh? If you do a remake, Ooh it'd be wee. cool because you you're adding a new experience. <laughs> you're playing a new I game. I need a button for that. I'm sorry, Tony. I need a but I need a DJ button where it goes ooh wee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'll give you a good example of a good remake. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'll give you a good example. Ratchet and Clank. Um, huh? I thought you were going to say Demon Souls. No, yeah, you Ratchet should use Demon Clank. Souls. No, no, no. Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I grew up with Ratchet and Clank. It's one of my favorite series. Ratchet and Clank, um, when they did the remake, they added new characters. They added new situations. Basically combined a lot of situations into one. And I was kind of like, this is this is a shitty this is a shitty remake. Why are they doing this? Until I found out that was Quark's story of the first few games. And then I was like, that's fucking cool. That's so dope. Because it's technically not canon. Because that's not how it happened. So in that situation, like let's say in Metal Gear 1, if they're remaking Metal Gear 1, it would be super dope if they, if they start the whole game and the game doesn't feel like metal gear one like there's a lot of new situations or old situations and then we find out at the end that it was a briefing that happened between like insert character here and insert character here at that point it wouldn't be canon because obviously the situation isn't the same but it would be canon because it's uh, someone else telling the story or briefing of it mm. so there's like moments where it's like that didn't happen like that see that's That'd why i really don't want to cool. jack four I'm tired of people saying that they need How a Jack How would you do Jack 4? Bro, not only that, I don't think Naughty Dog is capable of producing something of that magnitude. You know what I mean? Like, like the expectation... Naughty Dog? For, really? Naughty Dog to make some... Bruh, people were talking about Uncharted 4 didn't hit. And I'm like, what? Uncharted 4 didn't hit? Apparently. Apparently, there's a, there's a community of people that really were just like, Uncharted 4 was just not well, it. Like, I well, don't know we, who we those knew, people are, but they're smoking. We, knew Uncharted, we so, knew Uncharted 4 was the last one, right? Mm, is it the last one? Which was the last one? There's well, gonna there be was a, a DLC, one. right? The expansion. Yeah, there's, a, there's an expansion, and there's already plans to make an Uncharted 5. Wasn't, wasn't Uncharted 4 the, supposed to be the last one? Supposedly, but Drake does have okay. a daughter now, so... That, that I don't I don't care about that. Oh, you for spoiled me, the game! Oh my god! For, for yeah. me, oh I my spoiled god! the game! Oh when, no! When I when I got into Uncharted Four, it was like, all right, the game's ending. This ending better be dope. I can see why people wouldn't like it because for them, like the ending just will never be perfect in their mind. Or they didn't do it like this, so therefore I don't like it. Type shit. 
I don't really care. It's not my story to tell. It's the dev story to tell. That's why for me, I don't really care about the I just want ending. that energy kept consistent when we're talking about Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 2. That's all. I want that, I want that same energy. What? I'm just, I just want that same energy when people talk about the Last of Us One and oh, Last I of didn't, Us Two. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want it. The Last of Us Two. That's why I didn't care for it. Hey, man. You know what? I just, just want to make it known. That's all. So, <sighs> maybe one day, God maybe one it. day we'll get a Jack Four and it'll it'll be ass and it'll disappoint. Maybe one day we'll get a PlayStation All Stars oh. Round Two. Like, <laughs> where did it even? End? <laughs> didn't it end with fucking Jack dying? No. Jack I need to play three. three. Yeah, you should I need probably, to play three again. You probably be. He, he learns that he's an alien, and then they promise another game, and then he goes off racing. Wait, he learns that he's an alien? Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's been like he almost also 20 discovered years, that he's, so. he's Mar, and there's... <laughs> Anyway, it's it's a whole precursor race. Anyway, it's just it's not gonna it's not gonna matter. The original team that that worked on that game is either departed, deceased, or doesn't want to work on that game. So and that's a, that's the other thing is that we we like we would like to see games from insert system or insert series here, but at the end of the day, it wouldn't be the same. Like exactly, it, mm-hmm. it you would have to get all the de- deep like teams Space Jam together. two. Oh god, like Whatever. Tony Hawk. Damn, that one that one hit different. There's no rest in peace. There's no yeah. There's no Tony Hawk died. No, oh, no. not Tony Hawk. I was about to say, wait, never, did I miss something? I was never like, soft. I was like, uh, I think I would have heard about that one. Yeah, oh my God. I should have said that. I was gonna say, Yo. fly under the radar. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant never soft. That's... Yeah, never soft, uh, dude. Never soft should never have gone down. But that's they that's made again, some bangers that, too. That's such a different time, though, dude. Like I don't think can you can imagine... launch a spear through an eyeball in this day and age as your logo. Well, it's not even that. A that. lot of the shit, a really? lot of the shit that NeverSoft did, you could not do now, bro. They were never soft. They were yeah. never <laughs> soft, b. That's a None of their games of were soft. Thick, full of blood. Yes, sir. But, like fully I erect just at now, all times. Like, they would not. They would not. Like. Be... That's the thing. It's like twenty early twenty two thousands to early like, or mid-2000s. late nineteen nineties oh. to like mid two thousands were like some of the best times to get, play video games because that at that point people were just pushing out the wildest shit. Yeah, like, I remember playing Tony Hawk three and just thinking, dude, some of the shit in this game is super dope. But like some remember of the tricks when, you cannot do now because people would be like, oh my god. BMX Triple X came out. Yes. Bruh. My mother was not having it. She said, I let you play those motherfucking Grand Theft Auto games. I'll be damned if you gonna see some bitch with her titties hanging out on a bicycle in my house. I said, Mom, what what? Tri- Mom, she's got elbow and knee pads. She's good. Like, why are you, why are you tripping? <laughs> she's protected. She Dar- is Darth, protected. Darth just reminded me of a game from my childhood. Def Jam. Uh, Def Jam, yeah. Do y'all remember York. that one? Yeah, Def Jam bro. Vendetta, bro. There, that shit was wild. There was, um, there was a lot of rumors that that game was going to come back because Exhibit was like, yeah, let's get another one. It's like, don't nobody want your old ass in that game. Stop. <laughs> come on now. I couldn't imagine Def Jam Vendetta and trying to, trying to clear... Any character, like characters for that, bro. Little Yachty, fucking little Dirk, little baby, duh baby, fucking nah, yeah, man. There's nah, a baby. That shit, that shit is uh. It wouldn't hit the same now. Yeah, wouldn't. that's the thing. And then you'd like, have Kanye so being like, "I want to be a boss battle, but I want, I want to have like giant arms but tiny legs." You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but you can't sweep me though because my hands are in the way because they're just so big and massive. And I want to have these brainwave powers, you know what I'm saying? And then I shoot I shoes at you. Ah, ah. Th- that's that's fucking. That's I shoot my... Yeezys at you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, and... when you said uh, Drake for the boss battle, I was only thinking when he was like wearing the fucking big old box costume or oh whatever. Oh my god! Yeah. That was all I could think about. <laughs> he said they're gonna be a super <laughs> attack, and I come out with little pump. Mm. Wow. Mm. 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 Yeah, nah, that'd be that game would be ass, bro. I don't, I would not, I would not buy that. 
Um, so let me ask you guys one last question, then we can go ahead and get out of here, because I'm sleepy. Uh, and, and I know I've asked this before, but considering where the gaming industry is at right now, where it's possibly going to go, how do you guys feel about supporting specific games and game retailers and game publishers going forward? You mean? Oh, wow. So specifically like for me, I'm conflicted. Because I have reignited my love for Overwatch, which is very unfortunate. I don't want to uh, yeah. buy loot boxes now. And now I feel like, yo, I was making content on this. Am I part of the problem? Am I perpetuating this issue and pushing this issue that it's okay to do these things if I continue to play Overwatch? Or pay well, it, for things in Overwatch? That's a different, that's a whole it, different debate. It gets, honestly. it gets, there's, there's a few arguments where A, you're you're supporting the devs because or you're supporting the devs therefore you're supporting the company itself because you're continuing to play the game you're continuing to, to put and out spend content, money which and spend money and uh since you're a content creator specifically you're pushing out content which could get them new customers so like <clears throat> you see at that my, point you see my my moral <clears throat> issue here yeah but it's also like it's, it's the thing that everyone goes through. It's the thing. It's like you're not for me. Like I don't feel bad at pushing Destiny Two just because I'm not a big creator yet. If I was a big creator, then probably I'd feel a little different because I have more eyes on it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like I don't know. Like the way I saw it when I was doing Destiny Two, and I hate the shit they're doing. Is I'm just a flea in the back of a of a beast. Once I get to mm. a, a level of a beast, then at that point I have I would have to like I have a responsibility at that point. Right. Right. Now, what do you what do you think uh, is the responsibility of larger creators that are making money off of these and saying absolutely oh, nothing? God. Obviously, that's they're not the, obligated to, but you would think like that's the thing from it's a like, moral standpoint. It'd be like, yo, you you did make your living. You know, you're a full time content creator off of this off of the back of this insert company and their shitty morals or their shitty whatever. I, I like that's the other thing that I kind of find hard to like because like if i become a big creator and people are like oh well you you were on the back of bungie and look how bungie is now i'd Why be you like keep saying I, that like you're gonna play destiny forever because i probably will until it dies look where he's at yeah destiny's always Too gonna have gone. content so it's kind of like always content to make so fuck i hope right they now. cancel that game bro so you're I'd forced to find something I already know what I would do. Final Fantasy fourteen. I see it. Yes, sir. I see yes, it. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. He yes, said, "Let me yes, get my sir. schmeckles together." <laughs> Bro, I already, I already know. If, if, if anything ever happens, oh I'm going my there. god, that's funny. Like, oh, no. <laughs> it, it really, it really irks me when people like tell big creators like you have a responsibility and all this other shit because it's like no the fuck i don't bro eat my ass i do not have a responsibility like unless i'm actually pushing their content and it, it, even at that point like you are pushing their content like it's so hard because like there's other people who are like i didn't look out to be a role model but then again you're at that po position you assume the position as one yeah. as a person it's, who is put in a higher place it's the same thing when like pushing toxicity in a in a chat somewhere you know like uh even over the weekend when we were live streaming there was a couple of guys who came into the chat that were just like you know you could clearly tell they've never touched a woman before and were acting mm -hmm. as such like oh women are entitled and they want to be treated differently and like you know there's double standards for everything and it's not fair and blah 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 i was like bro 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 bro, bro. if you hate women and love pussy that's fine okay just get I, the fuck out I, of the chat for real i think that i think those those are valid points but the, it's also like where 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 it applies like i think that's valid but at the same time if that's the only thing they're pushing that? what do you mean what do you mean by that like give me an example just break it down a little know. bit example of what so in a scenario where let's go with pushing toxicity specifically mm -hmm. And almost like that ninja situation that happened a couple months ago, where what he had situation? like, oh, ninja had some, oh man, yo, ninja had some shit going on in his chat. So he had a lot of like uh, racist and homophobia, homophobic stuff going on in his chat. And a lot of people were like, hey, you know, this is the audience that you're cultivating and you're not curving this at all. 
And he straight up said, it's not my job to do that. Like, I'm here to entertain. It's like, you should be raising your kids better and all this other stuff, which I get. It makes sense. 100%. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. But also at the same time, being choosing to be negligent or choosing to be ignorant of a situation when you have the position to, to change that, it's like, yeah, you're not obligated, but just understand that you're not making stuff better. And by doing nothing, by choosing no action, you are actually choosing a negative action because all of this stuff is going to go unchecked. Because if your favorite streamer tells you, yo, by the way, we don't treat people like this. We treat people the way that we want to be treated. And it's like some young, impressionable kid who's like 12, 13 years old. They were like, what do you mean ninja respects women? I thought ninja's a simp. Disgusting. I, disgusting. N ninja wants to touch a woman? Oh. Ninja has a wife? When was this? When did this happen? He's not down I mean, with the bros? <laughs> He's not I mean, grabbing ass sides. in the office. No, just... both, I mean, both sides are uh, both sides are in the negative. Like, obviously, like it isn't it, it isn't his job. He's not a he's not their parent. But at the right. same time, like if you see hard R's being thrown, be like mods. Can you like get they get this shit under like right. ban these fuckers or some shit? At least do or, something. Like address it at least. Uh, I definitely I definitely am more on the side of ninja on this. Like I'm not your fucking parent, bro. Like, if this is how you are, be better. Don't be a fucking shitty person. Like, I get I get more his side just because uh, at the end of the day, he is just entertaining. But I think he's also f f like using that as, as an excuse not to, like, police his shit. Um, Especially because this was this was my this was my thing. You know why he doesn't really tell people they can't use the hard R in his chat? Because he be saying nigga at home. That's why. And he'll be like, what kind when that rap song come on, nigga this, nigga that, yes sir. He be in there and he look around. Uh make sure his windows that. are rolled up. Mm-hmm. I know. I, think... I see it. I see it in his eyes. He look like he say the N-word when nobody looking. He he's too family friendly to risk that shit. Nah, yeah. he roll them windows up, bro. Yeah, I don't I don't think he would do that just because he's way too family he's saying friendly. Saying it in the shower. What yeah, do you mean? He is. Where my he... niggas at? <laughs> just in the shower. <laughs> I personally think Tyler! that uh Someone that said he did say the N word on stream. Yeah, yes, he's said it on stream before. So See? So, you know, he says it at home. Yeah. And I truly believe that anybody willing to make a mistake like that you probably use that word. It was in the moment. Yeah, it was in the moment. It was in the heat of a gamer moment. That yeah. means you used that word like, before, bro. Oh. Hmm. Just what go are you ahead. Saying say in the shower. Yeah. What are you saying in the shower? Mm -hmm. Who was in Paris? <laughs> I just want to know. Just tell me who was in Paris. That's it. If you if you say it, just say you say it, dog. Hey, this is something I use on my on my own personal time when I'm not on stream. I don't encourage people to do it because, you know, you will get run up on because there are people that do push that issue. So, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck in the middle because uh, <laughs> I get it. I wouldn't want somebody saying some wild stuff in my chat. Number one, especially considering who i am and i just like to curb stomp that shit immediately like there's no place for that anywhere in my community whatsoever we may sit and joke about like oh yeah you know sarcastically i think i think the level of sarcasm that we use specifically in my community is is very important uh because everybody acknowledges that it's sarcasm or it's funny or it's supposed to be a joke do all jokes hit no they don't but in in a circumstance where I have assumed this this position of, hey, by the way, that joke didn't hit. Don't ever say it again. And Ninja doesn't feel the need to do that because for whatever reason, he doesn't want to cultivate an audience. He just wants the money and dip. That's what it seems like to me. He has the audience already. Yeah, there, there, he has, there's no way he want, he needs money. No, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't want to fuck with the bag. Like, he doesn't want to fuck with it at all. Like the, there's twenty thousand kids in the chat. Okay, they're gonna no, say he well, doesn't need all a bag. those kids are racist. Yeah, I'm like, trying to say he doesn't need a bag. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't. That's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't want to fuck with it at all. Like he doesn't have to. 
He doesn't oh. have to. He doesn't have to cultivate an audience because he played video games with Drake. He doesn't have to. For what? He's already I mean, got he his was, clout. He was. He was big before he made he, Drake. He made Drake. He made Drake. Before, Literally. before, before, like, listen, Who Drake was just some kid rolling in a wheelchair on Degrassi, okay? He, then Ninja came that? along, then Ninja came along, okay? And he said, he come play this little game called Fortnite, okay? Let That's what happened. Way. That's exactly what happened. Next thing you know, yep. we got Drizzy. Drake had never seen a wheelchair until he was with Ninja. That <laughs> he never, he's never stood up for himself until he played Fortnite with Ninja. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So. Hey Drake, you ever thought about making an album? You know what? <laughs> I got you. That was it. That was it. Tyler Ninja Blevins. He's he's who put Drake on. So. Exactly. And that's how some of these kids see it, bro. It really is. No, that's how he saw it. Yeah, that's how he saw it. He said, Drake played video <laughs> games with me. <laughs> like, with what? me. With that was me. funny as hell. These not, twelve year olds didn't even knew what Drake was. Nah, not at all. I brought him into the light. I put all these kids on Drake. Every single one of these kids. All these nine See, year these olds. These twelve year olds, they mm -hmm. did not know who you were until you played Fortnite with me. Mm -mm. You'll never get that audience ever again, Drake. Ever. Until you come back to Fortnite where you belong. <laughs> 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 so Hey man, all all I'm saying is he you got to take some type of responsibility, bro. Uh some type of acknowledgement, some type of, you know, just say something cuz saying nothing is really just going to keep it going. And I think that's that's a shitty shitty place to be in because just like in a toxic workplace, if you see something, you should say something. So from his position is kind of hard though. How so? He has people he pays to do that, right? I, so I, guess I don't know that man's pockets. I anything. assume he does. So I assume so. Yeah, he's big enough to where he. Yeah, why wouldn't he have mods that like? <laughs> that's what I think is interesting. Look up for that. Yeah, that's what I think is very interesting because uh, for for the mods to be able to do it, you also put yourself at at a place of public scrutiny by not saying it. So it's just like, oh, so Ninja, by not addressing any racism, are you innately saying that you support racism? Hmm. By saying nothing, we don't know your don't know position. By saying don't nothing, know. we don't know your position. Do you so, say racist slurs? Do you say the N-word in the shower, Tyler? Let us know. Are you going to Bass Pro Shop and calling people the N-word? <laughs> Selena, what? <laughs> well, you all never been called the N-word at a Bass Pro Shop? No, never. I've been called right, the N-word in a Baskin even, Robbins. That's about Bass as Pro close. At LA, so no. I, that's about as close as I've, I've ever been. I've seen here in so. Florida. Why Bass Pro Shop? That's where all the rednecks are. Yep. And you Sister. know they're saying the N word. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so the 31 flavors of deception. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyway, that's going to pretty much be it for today's podcast, guys. Thank you guys for listening. Um, this was a lot of fun. Um, anybody got a moral of the story? Any uh any gems they want to drop before we get out of here? Because otherwise, don't be a I'm just shitty gonna... person. Don't be a don't be a shitty person. That's it. I'm gonna continue to be a shitty person. Same, same. Yeah, but I am gonna continue to to raid people on Twitch. So you know, it can't be that shitty, right? <laughs> it's not shitty if you say it with a smile. It's not shitty if you smile. say it with a smile, indeed. So we want to thank you guys for listening I to this week's podcast. Women. Uh, Selena <laughs> hates women. So, you know, it is what it is. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, same time, same place. Thank you guys for listening. Week. This has been a Canon Culture Podcast. Make sure to keep it canon.